Bayern hat Stärken, äh, die wir sehr gut kennen. Aber wir haben auch sehr gute Spieler in unserer Mannschaft und ich glaube, dass äh, wir die gleichen Chancen haben wie der FC Bayern. For sure, we had quality. You never go all that way without having a lot of good players and a lot of quality in the team. But to work all season, to work hard in the competition, to to go through all the stages, times when we thought we'd be out, and you come through that, it's like you're getting over hurdles every single time. I think we was always underdogs rolling through that campaign, and for us to reach the final, it was amazing. crazy route to the final. We knew it was our last chance. We knew we were coming up a team that, at the home stadium that were probably better man for man than us. We were missing four big players through suspension. So we knew they were a great team. That was just a fact. Um, we understood that the game wasn't going to go a way of uh, an easy win or a really stylish, comfortable win against a team like that. We had to dig in and we had to be organised. So we approached it differently. Southern Germany, Bavaria, the home of Bayern Munich, the home of the 2012 Champions League final. The chance to become European champions in the place you call home. It's a chance which comes around once in a lifetime. Bayern are without Alaba, Batschuber and Luis Gustavo all suspended. Mario Gomez leaves the forward line with the pace, the power and the player of Ribéry and Robin. Chelsea must make do without their captain, John Terry, having to watch from the sidelines, having been sent off in the semi-final. The source of real inspiration, absent tonight. Frank Lampard is the man with the armband, and the talisman Didier Dropper will carry their hopes in attack. We'd had this crazy run, and it was almost like fate was starting to conspire on our side, and it's easy said now, but you know, to have turned a, a big defeat against Napoli round, to have beaten the great Barcelona team in, in the new camp with 10 men and, and two goals down at the time, made us have this weird sense that it could be us. So I don't remember going into it thinking, oh, now we're up against such a strong team. I kind of just went into a bit of a autopilot and thought, let's just keep this going. Let's throw everything at this as we did and see what happens. of the European aristocracy, the elite group which Chelsea is so desperate to join. Bayern aiming for their fifth European title, Chelsea their first. It's Robin, chance for goal here, and it's a good save by Jack. Still not dealt with yet by Chelsea. He bends the away by Lampard. Ribery tormenting the sequel. Contento. Oh, a chance for Muller. Dropper has come the way of Lampard. And now Sullivan Kalu. Viewing for the Chelsea fans that first half in Bavaria tonight will be a sense of relief for Chelsea with the goalless half time scoreline. Taktický plán byl jasně nenechat, je, nenechat jim prostor, aby mohli hrát. Ono to esteticky nevypadá příliš krásně, ale je to účelné a to nám vlastně řekněme, dostalo, nebo dostalo nás to na cestu do, až do, do finále. That was the end, as I, as I saw it, and it's you know that you shouldn't have a defeatist mindset in a game. But it felt like the end. We defended and you know um, held on for major parts of the game. And so when that goal goes in so late, you think it's the end, and that's where I always 
go back to that man Didier Drogba. On a souffert, on a subi face à une équipe du Bayern de Munich qui était très forte. Et le seul corner de la partie qui était très bien tiré par Juan Mata. Et j'ai réussi à me défaire du marquage et surtout d'orienter mon corps par rapport à la direction du but pour pouvoir donner, pour pouvoir cadrer d'une et puis, et puis faire un mouvement qui me permettait de donner de la vitesse au ballon. Didier était homme et avait suffisamment de qualité pour lui se lever et mettre cette tête qui est une tête, je ne pense pas qu'il n'y a pas d'autre joueur de football qui aurait fait à ce moment-là. Le spring sur le ground, à ce moment-là dans le jeu, c'est très difficile. Pour pouvoir produire quelque chose de si important à un moment comme ça, c'est ce qui fait le meilleur si spécial. Et merci à Didier pour faire ça spécial pour nous. team now can dig deep and grab the prize which stands before them. Detenter. Freebury, it was Drogba's tackle and the referee's given a penalty against Didier Drogba. Byla to nějaká 105. minuta v zápase, kde je spoustu nervů, sportu, spoustu psychického stresu a, a i vůbec únavy z toho běhání, i fyzické únavy. Takže jsem věřil v to, že bude chtít dát spíš ránu, než že by střelou umístěval. Že si spíš bude věřit na, na prudkou střelu a prudká střela většinou se líp kope křížem. Takže proto jsem se rozhodl na, vlastně vybrat, si, vybrat si ten roh i podle toho, jak na tu penaltu šel. Čech měl vlastně s Robin. Nejen když hrál s ním a měl jsem vlastně, jsou vlastně vlastně na pitch. So... It would have been actually a difficult one for Robin. Was, I, I've been there before. When you know the goalkeeper, it makes it more difficult. And again, going back to that word fate, but that was the moment that you do start to think that things are turning in our favour. That is that. Two hours of football, still no winner. A captivating final. And there is more drama on the way. The Champions League final has come down to this. Philip Lahm scores the first spot kick for Bayern. Oh, and it's a smart save by Mamor Neuer. And it's advantage Bayern. Mario Gomez. Perfect. Bayern now have ramp home their advantage. It's a long runner for David Luiz. Right in the top corner. That is a top class penalty. Chelsea on the ball. Neuer against Czech. And the battle won by Neuer. 3-1 to Bayern. Fred Lampard went for power. Terrific. Absolutely terrific. Kroatsky beats the Ovis. Petr Czech makes the save and Chelsea believe again. Goal, beat him here. Yes, he can, right in the corner. And it's three apiece. It's by Steiger, last up for Bayern. And it's saved by Czech, off the upright. Steiger has failed. And Chelsea are now on the cusp of greatness. And this has to be the scriptwriter's dream. Didier Dropper. Is this Didier Dropper's destiny? He's won it! Chelsea are the European champions! They've done it in the most dramatic manner. It is heartbreak for Bayern. My relation with the Champions League is really special. It's a trophy that I've spent a lot of time to touch. I have to say that for 9 years, whether it's with Marseille or with Chelsea, we've had a lot of couru après ce, ce, ce trophée et euh, d'avoir la chance de, de, de le soulever, c'était pour moi, je dirais, euh, aujourd'hui, l'apogée de, de, de ma carrière.
The emotions of probably 10 years of attempting to win this thing come in a big explosion over about 20 seconds. The job's done. At that moment, you're the best team in Europe, probably the world, because it's the best competition. Um, and we've been together, it's been a group of us um, for a long time, and we knew it was our last attempt, and it was the most incredible celebrations for, for probably days after that. So that moment up there, the owner there, the manager there, all the staff that have worked incredibly hard for a long time there together, those moments are absolutely priceless. Thank you.